Welcome, Ms. McDonald. Please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Please call me Alex. I have reviewed your intake form and notice there is some information that you didn't complete. I'm wondering if we can review the form together to ensure that I have a complete picture as we get started. I might be more comfortable sharing certain information once we get to know each other a bit better. Perhaps you could tell me a bit more about how you work with your clients to start. Sure, it is important for you to feel comfortable with my theoretical approach to counseling so that you can see if that is a good fit for you. I work from what we call a humanistic perspective, which means that I treat people holistically, attending to the social contexts of their lives. I believe that although our behavior is influenced by our environment, we all have free will, make conscious choices, and strive to create meaning in life. I don't know if I agree that everyone has the same choices available to them. I sometimes feel like I am squeezed into a box where I can hardly breathe or move, let alone make an active choice to find meaning in my life. I think a lot of my female clients feel like that when they are juggling so many different roles and responsibilities, particularly when their children are young. I don't have children yet, but I know some of my female friends feel like that. For me, the sense of being squeezed happens more in my work environment, where I can't seem to break out of others' expectations for me. I feel like I should have been chosen instead of Sam in the last round of promotions. It is sometimes tricky to figure out how to position ourselves in a way that gets us noticed in the right ways within a work environment. Have you taken any training to prepare you for job advancement within your organization? I know that many women still feel like they need to work much harder than men to attain the same opportunities. My skill set is pretty strong. great. There are also other qualities and interpersonal dynamics that influence how well we build networks with our colleagues and position ourselves within the organizational structure. If you were to step back and observe yourself as if you were a fly on the wall at work, how would you describe what you see? I would see someone who feels misunderstood and who doesn't quite fit in, but also doesn't really want to fit in. How do you think the not fitting in is working for you in terms of your career goals?